eight inches. Boating, oh wow, it looks really good. I'm excited. So when we bought our boat, the surveyor said that we need to replace our jib because it was old and crappy. But he also said, wait a little bit before you do, make all your beginner mistakes on your crappy old jib. If you're gonna damage a jib, damage the old one, not a new one. It's been a couple years since then, and I think it's time to face the fact that we really do need to figure out a new head sail because it's like every 100 miles or so we get a new rip in the thing. I think the fabric's just shot. So we decided that we're gonna get a new sail. In the meantime, we're gonna patch this one till we can figure out what exactly we're doing. But first, we're gonna patch this jib. Sails down, let's look at what we've got to deal with. So now that we have the sail down, you can see we've done some patches before that the patches with this clear sail tape are coming out, but there's patches on top of patches for this sail. The stitching is slowly coming out, it's tearing at the seams, and the material is starting just to be basically UV rotted. I did a sewing patch to replace another patch. It's ugly, I know I'm not very good at it making it look pretty, but this material is really brittle and tears very, very easily. So I'm gonna start off by just cleaning it with some acetone. Acetone might be too strong for sails, I'm not really sure, but this is old and I wanna make sure it's very clean before putting the patch on. So I'm cleaning an area all around. I'll clean it on both sides. This time we're using this Dacron adhesive patch to see if it works any better than the other ones. All right, the wind picked up, but we got patch there, patch there, and patch further up, three patches. But it looks better now. We're here today with Precision Sales with Daryl and Ron, and they are helping us measure, they're kind of educating us on how you measure for a new sail. They are fonts of information with regard to sails. This is what they do. 21 feet, 11 inches. So that's 18 feet, eight inches. One foot, 11 inches. So just from the deck, the top of the shack. Always have a tagline because these break. Precision sales were in town for the Annapolis boat show, so they helped us do those measurements you just saw. After they left, they took the measurements and then we went through the normal process like any other customer. So they do a sail cloth consultation, which is this. Uh, let's chat a little bit about what, what you plan on doing with the boat. Caribbean, South Pacific maybe, probably. Maybe Atlantic crossing to med stuff, but we're definitely gonna be doing some bigger crossing things. I would recommend uh, maybe two options. We could go with a, a good solid cross-cut Dacron, a high quality because of the areas that you're going into and the amount of sailing you'll, you'll be doing. I would say a little bit heavier than what I would call a coastal cruiser. The other option we could go with is the triradial Dacron, a little better performer, but a little bit less in the quality as far as uh, resistance to UV damage. So I think I'd recommend the 500 series crosscut for you. Uh, nice traditional crosscut, good sail shape, good longevity, almost, uh, you know, out of all the things that you could worry about on your boat, perhaps this head sail we crossed off that list for quite a few years. We do double up the tapes. Uh, so you'll notice that there's two rows of, of tape here mm -hmm. uh, on the outside of the And sail. after the sail cloth consultation, we did a design consultation. And design in this context means like the architecture of the sail. It's more than just like making it look pretty. It's how how is it shaped, how is it sewn together. And for me, I found it really fascinating because new? I knew it was complicated, but uh, seeing the numbers and the math, it's really, really cool. And that's this call right here. You can see the design that I have here for you. How's that? I like, I like it. it. I do too. It looks really good. I like that there's still room for Honu. It's not crowded. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we also look at the broad seam. So the difference is that one is looking at one is looking at this one specific cut of the sail, where this is looking at the depth of the entire sail altogether, and this is a vertical representation. So you see that we have a little bit of extra uh, uh, shape right at the top. That's to make use of the higher wind velocity at the top. I dip in a bit, and then we get. I've got double double draft stripes. Uh, we can go single if you want, or triple if you really want. Um, currently, I have them in black. So um, realistically, you're not going to be looking at it like that. You're going to be looking at something more like this, 
when you're kind of sitting on deck, oh, okay. or, you know, from the from the cockpit, so you can see That's the cool. shape a lot better. I think double's kind of cool. I sure. I like it. Cool. And then I've got three sets of telltales, triple on the bottom, uh, double in the, in the center, and then two at the top. Play with it as much as you can. It's the best way to get to know new sails. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're, we've gotten yeah. used to our baggy old sail, and we can make it do what we needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. excited to compare the, the new one. We will always work with you until you're happy with our product, because uh, it's, it's what we do. We, we love our sails. Uh, we love to work on sales, and we want every precision sale to be the best sale that's ever gotten somebody's boat. So right now, we're heading south, but our sale has been put in the production queue to be built. So now that it's designed and we've agreed on all the, uh, the details, they're building it, and we're going to get it when we are in Florida. So we still have another 500 miles to go with the crappy old jib that we got. We've gone like 4,000 miles on it so far. I think we can do another 500. We're going to have more content around sales, so when we get this one, we'll try it out. We'll feel the differences between an old, blown-out sale and a new, crisp sale, and show the differences between the two. I think that'll be interesting. So thanks for watching this video, and thanks to Precision Sales for making this whole process a lot less daunting than it was when we first started into it. Alright, see you in the next video.